We're here in the northernmost neighborhood of Queens, New York at the Steinway factory where they've been making the world's best pianos for over 150 years. We're gonna go get a private tour and see how they're made and learn a little bit about it. Let's go. Chris. Nice to meet you. Great to have you here. Are you ready for your factory tour? Let's do it. Okay, well you're going to need these. We're going to be walking right through the doors into the factory. Steinway & Sons was founded in 1853 by a German immigrant by the name of Heinrich Steinweg. He anglicized his name when he began the company to Henry Steinway. Steinway is credited with developing most of what is the modern grand piano. This is really the start of the process. Rim bending. This is an invention of the Steinways, the single piece bent rim. This is a patent from 1878. Whoa. Right behind us, these guys are carrying this glued board. It's going to form that outside band of the piano that's so iconic to grand pianos. The piano will be built on top of this inside rim, so this is super strong. After opening up shop in Manhattan, Steinway built an entire factory town in Astoria for its workers, the majority of whom are immigrants. The factory still stands and supplies Steinway pianos for all of North America. There you go, you're hired. Many of the employees at the factory today are also immigrants from countries all over the world, living their own American dream. Prenta, how long have you been here at Steinway? 46. 46 years? How can you be? You're only 30 years old and you've been here for 46 years. It's amazing. I can't believe it. Where are you from originally? I was born in Yugoslavia. I came here. I was looking for a job. I came, I apply, and a few days later they hired me. I start here in 1973. Pretty much neighborhood change, yeah, definitely. But uh, the factory, I think we're building 100% better pianos. She's going to teach me a little bit about case making here. Take this plane, I'm done. Okay. <laughs> Just a phone, a heat a little bit. Good. <laughs> All right, so whoever gets piano B0526, localish worked on it. So Chris, now we're entering what we call the belly department. The belly, belly department? department? The belly department. And these are considered belly men, and to be a belly man in the piano industry is kind of the pinnacle of a skills pyramid, and to do so for Steinway is kind of a even higher pinnacle. So everyone here, they're the best of the best. They're going to hand drill all those holes, hand drive all those pins. The cast iron plate will sit on top. The strings come through all of these pins, and then they're going to attach at the end of this plate. So it creates like a harp, if you will. In this age of automation and machines taking jobs, the best instruments in the world are still made by human hands. So where are we now? So this is the grand finishing department. It's where the grands come to get finished. The keys and the action stack, they're gonna be mated so that they work perfectly together. From that point, that whole action, that's now considered an action, is gonna be mated with this piano so that it works as one cohesive unit. There's a lot of mating going on here. This is tone regulation. This is where tuning happens. I can hear it. There are over 50 different parts for each key. Everything is meticulously tweaked to perfection to achieve that perfect tone. Finally, it was time to get my hands on some of the world's finest pianos. Now, going back to my Casio is gonna be trouble. Ooh, that's some good stuff. That sounds good. I'll take it. All right, so this looks just like a regular piano, except I'm noticing it says Spirio. Correct. Right what is Correct. that? Correct. So this is a high resolution player piano, so it's going to take something that's played by any pianist, any genre, and it will play it back identically. No hands. We have about 250 union employees. 75% of them are immigrants. Well, that's the thing is like, story of made in America and American manufacturing is a lot of times a story of the American dream and immigrants. It's a special place when you get, you know, you get people from all over the world and kind of working together towards one goal to build an instrument that brings happiness and music to people's lives.